Hey everybody, welcome back to X4 Foundation's Cradle of Humanity Preview Edition. This is not the final version. That will be released on March 16th, so please keep that in mind watching this video. Today we're going to look at one of the new game moon modes, the Starbase Simulation Designer. Basically, it's a sandbox that lets you build stations, mess around with them, gives you access to pretty much everything, and uh, then you can save off the station, share them, do all sorts of stuff. Now, the room itself is pretty not functional, unfunctional, if you will. It's just a place for you to be in the world. You go to your map, and you already have a plot. So just like in the game, you have a plot, you get the biggest size plot, and you have access to all of the blueprints. And you'll pretty much build things like normal here. So you got access to everything. Not only that, you can also see the plans for other uh, existing designs. So here is the Argon Shipyard, which also has an administration center. Interesting. I never saw that. Or you can look at the uh, a pirate base. Huh. I never thought of having unconnected things like that and they could do that can you that's weird or say uh the Talati wharf now i know what you're thinking is the Talati trading station in here yes but it's not the one we want it doesn't have the dock that i think we all want i don't even know how to describe that thing that huge dock that is not in here sadly um I wish it would. Maybe they'll add it at some later point. And here's the Terran defense platform. Kind of looks like. So you could take one of these and modify it. Or you can kind of start your own. Go back out. And go into plan build again. Let's build something while we're here. Since this is Cradle of Humanity, I think we should do something Terran. I think that would make sense. We'll start out with the four medium, ten small luxury dock. That'll be the top of it. All right, that's nice. I think we'll build a solar power station because that's kind of interesting. First, we'll build out a couple beams here, a couple arrows. There we go. Connect that there. Good. And I love these little circle connections they have, Terrans get access to. Now, the energy cells are different. So, Terran have their own energy cells they can use. Now, these are not as powerful as the normal energy cell production. These are about 50 her. These are one set. The normal is 175 energy cell. So it will take more of these to do the same as one of the original energy cell production units. But I like having the flexibility to kind of make them how you want. Like these, these are really cool looking. Now, if I were a fancy kind of person, I would, you know, copy copy them, paste them, do all that sort of thing, but I'm just going to do it by hand. Let's put a storage underneath it. Do a large storage container. Got to make sure it gets underneath. There it is. All right, that's underneath. And we also need a pier. They have a bunch of options for piers, but we just need this one. Excellent. Oh, that's not really straight. There we go. So here is our station. Oops, almost forgot something important here. Where are people going to live? It's still not required, but I'm going to be nice and give them a place to live since the habitation modules are so cool. We'll even do a large. Bam, right there. So this is our station. And now we can go ahead 
and save this. We'll call it the Terran Solar Plant. I wish I could, so I, I wonder, and it's something I have to test, if I change one of the existing plans and overwrite, if, if, it will, if it will allow me to overwrite the plan that the game uses. I doubt it. Something to look into, because then you could modify them. Because I wish I could get the game to use my design somehow. That's probably more complicated than it sounds. And then you can share them if you want. So, for, for instance, I can share the solar plant. It'll export it to the construction plan subfolder of your personal X4 folder. And then you can take it to the construction forum off of the Ecosoft forums. And you can post it there. I think it's just it's like an XML file that you can share around. And, it, you know, I think a lot of people like this. You can mess around with it without having to actually build anything. Once you hit confirm, you can see how much it will cost in general because the prices fluctuate. So 7.7 .7 million credits for this build. And sadly, you can't actually build it, though. I really wish there was a button to say, okay, just build. And then you could go into the world in like a little ship and look at it and see what it looks like uh, actually built. Maybe they'll add that if we ask. Maybe they're already going to. I don't know. You can also look at the logical station overview. So you can see your whole supply chain and anything that you might be missing. So this shows I have 0 out of 6 built for the energy cells. But that's that's about it. It doesn't extrapolate the workforce. That's probably something it might want to make it do so we can predict the workers needed. I think that would be a good improvement to this as well. Anyway, it's a fun little game mode. I think some people will like it. I'll probably use it once in a while to try out some things. I hope you enjoyed this video. hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.